options because it's all up to you to do everything, to find where you're going to stay, where you're going to eat, what you're going to do that day. Um, that confidence building just really kind of helps you just find that peace, that inner peace in yourself. Um, you know, I know for me, um, gosh, I'm trying to think of maybe one specific example, I guess maybe just even thinking about the first time that I traveled, um, abroad when I went to Spain by myself, I was 39. So I was not young and, um, I didn't really have any plans set out and I just found my way from place to place. I kind of had a loose kind of itinerary in my head. Um, and it was just, I came back and I remember at the time I was living with a, with a boyfriend and I remember just feeling like so empowered and so like at peace with myself and who I was. And it just really kind of, I think, snowballed into really kind of even more. It just, and it, it wet my appetite to want to do more of it. So um, what was the spark yeah. for you wanting to, or being even courageous enough to do that in the first place? Well, probably because I had, I, I grew up in Cincinnati, but at the age of 30, I moved to Colorado and I went out and I started to do, you know, like I did a lot of hiking by myself. I would go to, you know, and I went to, you know, trails that were well-established and like Rocky Mountain National Park or something like that. And, you know, I think just even starting to do some of that and then maybe taking a weekend and going into one of the mountain towns, like outside of Denver, because I was living in the Denver area and just going and spending a couple nights. I remember taking a trip down to New Mexico and just spending a couple nights. I'm also a photographer. So obviously I would go and would take my camera and I'd hike and photograph or peruse a town and photograph. And I just, I, I don't know. I, I think just the more I did it, the more confident I got. And that kind of led to me saying, you know what? I'm going overseas by myself. And I even chose like a location where I didn't, well, I knew some Spanish, but you know, it's like, I didn't pick going somewhere like the UK or Ireland or something like that. I, I chose something that was probably a slightly more challenging just because of the language barrier. Um, but I wanted to do that. I wanted to kind of push myself because yeah. I felt like I was ready for it. So yeah. Yeah. It's but amazing. It's yeah. It, it's definitely, I think a way to bring yourself kind of some, some inner peace is, is that kind of, I think when you have confidence in yourself, that kind of brings that peace. Yeah. Yeah. Doing something that's scary, but then the more you do it, that's kind of, it, when you're talking, it reminds me of when I did the white wire rafting last year mm -hmm. and um, I had never been kayaking. Well, two times I had been kayaking before this whole thing. And I took a two day kayaking course and all of a sudden decided to sign up as a white wire rafting guide. So I went through a six week training where they literally like teach you how to like rescue people in moving water, like with all these like devices and you have to like jump out. It, it was crazy. That's um, scary. The, <laughs> yeah. The first week, I don't even know how I, why I went back, but then I kind of was like, well, if I made it through this day, then yeah. I mean, I can try it again and maybe it won't be as scary, but like the first time I was on the river on a kayak I was like terrified to fall out of that boat and um at the end of the summer I was like why is this over I want to keep doing it <laughs> um you know exactly. so it's just like the more you do something um and there's definitely I want to say there's definitely danger like there's danger in the river there's danger in the world like so there's not like yeah. it's not going out being like oh well nothing's going to happen right, right. but there's, and what you maybe we'll talk a little bit deeper in on Wednesday is about like, there's things that you can do to like still explore the world and be safe and still have this amazing solo experience. Um, Absolutely. I'll definitely be, you know, yeah. kind of touching on some of those safety things. Cause I think that that's one thing that can obviously bring anxiety to somebody is do they feel like they're safe? And that can also be like one of the things that keeps people from traveling alone, especially I think women, mm -hmm. um, you know, because sometimes you hear some of the stories, but it's so, you know, you just have to be smart about it. And yeah, I've got all kinds of, of tips and, and that to, to talk about that because once, like you said, once you do it and you do it a few times, mm -hmm. you just, you're like, wow, this is great. Why didn't I do this earlier? <laughs> Yeah. And I mean, like, it's great to have somebody, a travel companion for sure. But I think that there's adventures that you can have that 
will be so much more, it, it'll be just a different experience when you travel um, alone, like you're saying, and have that time to just really be mindful and, and all of these things you can and d dive into. So I'm excited to learn more about the tips for successful solo travel from you. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, successful <laughs> solo travel tips, something like that. Um, yeah. I'm excited like to it. learn more about that with you on Wednesday. Yeah. I'm excited uh, we, for it. Yeah, we, we will leave it there. Um, please join us if you're watching on Facebook. You can go to the Find Calm Here Facebook page, and we have the link there in the events tab uh, for, the, for the Zoom call, which you can join anytime at 7 p.m. Well, as long as you join at 7 p.m. Eastern, I should say that. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you're not watching this on Facebook and it's on a different platform, um, on the findcalmhere.com website, so findcalmhere.com, uh, the events tab has our Zoom link as well that you can pick it up there for the call. So those are the two places you can get it. It will be in on Instagram and it will be on LinkedIn. And if there's any other thing that you could add at the end, Lynn, any comments or last final thoughts? No, for I, I, just, I hope a lot of people come because I, I really think it, it, and I would really stress like if you have thought about traveling solo and kind of not been kind of been unsure or afraid please please come because mm -hmm. i've got like you know i do i mean I, I could i'm filled with all kinds of tips i can tell you some great stories um and i think that yeah. um you know you just got to get out there and try it and do it like i said it's kind of dipping your toe in the water start small and yet then you can go bigger yeah but, um we'll talk about all that stuff on wednesday so love to there. yeah i'm excited very cool. <laughs> I know. Well, and we had a really popular um, call on Saturday with Lily when we were doing Find Calm with Authentic Travel. And that was like a, um, we got a lot of resources and um, references from the group of people that were in there. So um, we, there is a replay of that event in our YouTube channel and in our Find Calm Here community. Um, and there will be a replay of this event. But if you have questions, Lynn, we have her exclusively for one hour of time <laughs> so we are going to bring the questions or challenges or any uh, any of that um on wednesday so thank you so much i'm gonna say goodbye for now i will see you right. wednesday have a great see you day wednesday. all right bye see you wednesday